The procession of family portraits on your handset screen is testament to the long history of the Cavendish family at Chatsworth. This history began in 1552, when Bess of Hardwick and her second husband, Sir William Cavendish, started building the original Tudor Chatsworth house. It was Derbyshire-born Bess who suggested the location, and her drive and ambition helped her to become the second most powerful woman in Elizabethan England after the Queen. Bess's house has been rebuilt piece by piece, and only a few fragments survive. But the children she had with William Cavendish were the start of a lasting family dynasty. The Cavendishes acquired the title Devonshire in 1618, when Bess's son was created Earl of Devonshire by King James I. The name was probably chosen simply because the Devonshire title was available and there was already an Earl of Derby, the more obvious choice. It was King William III who elevated the fourth Earl to the dukedom in 1694, in the middle of the Earl's ambitious project to rebuild his great-great-grandmother's house in the fashionable Baroque style. The first Duke's successors in the 1700s concentrated on altering his formal Baroque garden into a more natural-looking landscape. However, the extravagant Sixth Duke modified and also greatly enlarged the house by adding the North Wing in the early 1800s, as well as deploying Victorian engineering know-how to transform the gardens once more. After inheriting the Devonshire estates after the Second World War and paying an 80% tax on all his land and possessions, the 11th Duke created the Chatsworth House Trust to protect Chatsworth and its collections for future generations of visitors. His son, the 12th Duke, and the Chatsworth House Trust continue to oversee conservation and improvement works, both for the benefit of today's visitors and to secure Bess of Hardwick's long legacy and Chatsworth's future.